Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of another 6x6 mini album that I created using a tutorial I found online along with some older Close to My Heart products. So this is very similar to the last one. It is a 6x6 cover with a 2.5 inch spine. It is four pages on the inside, the hinge method. The only difference is I did change the orientation of the way pages open and where they flip. And then also instead of having pockets on the top to insert a photo, I have pockets on the side. So I did use an older collection from Close to My Heart called Yesterday and Today. It is an older collection from 2020. It has a very vintage family heritage vibe to it. So I created this album for my mother-in-law. She's very into family heritage and I just thought the colors were perfect. I did end up using some extra paper as well to create the pages um, because when you buy these kits, I think you only get about two colors each of the six cardstock that comes in the kit and I needed more for the inside pages. So here's a close-up of the cover. And I use a few of the pages, one of the stickers that I kind of turned into an ephemera. I use one of the older flower thin cuts to create that flower. And I did use up some old gems that I had in my stash as well. This ribbon is actually very, very old ribbon from Stamping Up. And it's very thick um, and soft. And I thought it went well with the colors. So with this album, again, it's very similar. And actually, before I go ahead and get into it, I wanted to show you what I had left. I think this is what I like about mini album creation the most. This is literally all I have left. And this does include the other papers that I had to use to make inserts and hinges and whatnot. So that's all I have left. So I think I really like the mini albums because it uses up a lot of paper. And if you're trying to get rid of your stash and... Um, make room for more new items, then this is a great project to work on. So again, it opens this way. And I believe most of these I did do either four by four or three by four. I do realize that some of the older photos are kind of not standard. So most of them weren't a five by seven or a four by six. Most of the older, fo older photos are um, different. It's just how photos were created back then. So I do think they'll fit pretty nice on the 4x4 and she always has the option of just making a copy of them and putting them on there as well. So this one folds up and here's another insert as well. So again 4x4 and I did leave them blank and then there's a, I forgot how much it was, let's see here. It is an insert that is about five by three, four and three fourths. And I just used my crocodile again to round the corners. And I used the same one as before because I thought it went really well with the vintage vibe. So this one opens up this way and then this way. And I did mount a few of these three by fours. This is also a three by four. This one's movable. I think I had it that way. And then this one opens up this way. Here is another little three by four with a little side pocket. This is another little photo mat or journaling, or you know, if there's a newspaper article or something that she wants to keep in here, she can do that as well. These two just open out. This one's a little side pocket. It doesn't go all the way to the end. It kind of just starts here. These two I left blank so she can fill in with whatever she wants. And then this one, same thing. Another three by four, same side pocket that only ends right there. Again, the little insert. And I decided not to put anything, mainly because I did, I was running out of paper. I could have added some of the extra papers to it, but I thought if I leave it blank, she's got room to add photos or journaling. Again, whatever she sees fit. Then this one opens up. I did add some of the stickers to this as well. And really, this was actually by accident, but I think it turned out really cute. I forgot to put in the magnets into the pages, so I had to do it later and then cover it up. So those just kind of go right there. And then this one opens up and down and has a nice spot for photos and journaling again. 
And then this page opens up like this. And then there's another spot for tuck spot for either a little photo, journaling, memorabilia, what have you. And then this side I ended the same way as the front. And for this one, I did decide to use the same paper and to kind of make it very cohesive. So the front and back were the same. This looks like vintage wallpaper to me. So I just thought it made a really cute background. And then the back I kind of added or I left it plain, but it is the same papers as the front. I just didn't decorate it. So again, you just go ahead and tie it up. I did leave this nice and long so there is room to grow. And with this collection, I didn't use a lot of the stickers. I left them on the sheet for her to add as she saw fit. And then this collection also came with some really pretty decorative vellum. The only piece I used was right here on the front cover. So she can go ahead and use that in her pages as well. So thank you so much for joining me for this little walkthrough of a 6x6 mini album using the Yesterday and Today collection from Close to My Heart. Thanks for joining me and happy crafting.